Welcome back to Technology for Fun Home STEM Projects. This is what we're going to make, it's a CD racer. You'll need two old CDs or DVDs, a plastic cotton reel. If it has a paper label, then make sure it's clear of the hole. A long pencil, an eraser, a plastic milk bottle lid and a rubber band about three millimetres wide and about four centimetres longer than the cotton reel. It's a good idea to have spare rubber bands in case you snap any. And you'll need these tools, a ruler, blue tack, large scissors, a hole punch or pointed nail scissors and a wire paper clip. Step one is to make the CD unit. Measure the diameter at the end of the cotton reel. Multiply this by two and a half, then roll out a thin sausage of blue tack this long. Make a circle with the blue tack on one end of the cotton reel. Press a CD down hard onto it, making sure the holes in the middle of the CD and the cotton reel line up. Turn the cotton reel over and do the same with the second CD. If the end of the cotton reel is hollow like this one, you need a thicker sausage of blue tack to fill it. You mustn't get blue tack in the central hole as this will slow the CD racer down. Step two is to make the plastic washer. Cut the edges off the plastic milk bottle lid so that it's flat. Cut a disc about 23 millimeters diameter. It should be roughly circular. If you have a hole punch, use it to make a hole in the middle. If you don't have a hole punch, then place the disc on the blue tack and use the pointed nail scissors to pierce a hole in the middle. Then cut this into a hole about five to six millimeters diameter. This is the plastic washer. Step three is to thread the rubber band through. Open up the paper clip to make a hook. Push the hook through the hole in the middle of the CD unit. Hook the end of the rubber band and pull it through so that there's a loop of rubber band sticking out on either side of the CD unit. Step four is to attach the eraser, washer and pencil. 
push the eraser through the rubber band loop on the side opposite the hook. Remove the hook and push the plastic washer over the second loop. Then thread the top of the pencil through. There should be a gap between the CD unit and the pencil. But if there's a gap of more than about 10 millimetres, like this one, then you can wind the rubber band around the pencil again like this to take up some of the slack. Step five is to try out the CD eraser. Hold the eraser with one hand and use the other to turn the pencil and wind up the rubber band. If you feel carefully as you turn it, and you can tell when it starts to get a little harder to turn. If you turn it too many times, then you can snap the rubber band, then you have to fit another one. Once you wound it up, place the CD race on a smooth surface and watch it go. Step six is to experiment with the CD racer. Try to get the CD racer to go as fast or as far as possible. There should be an optimum amount to wind up the rubber band. If it's not wound enough, then the CD racer won't go far. If the rubber band becomes too tight, then it squeezes the washer too hard against the CD and slows the CD racer down. If the rubber band is wound much too much, then it can bunch up and rub against the inside of the cotton reel and slow the racer down or even snap. You can experiment with different lengths and thickness rubber bands to find out which works the best. You can also try having the pencil sticking out more or less. Step seven is to have some races. Once you've got your racer to go as fast as possible, you can try racing against a friend to see whose racer goes faster. You can also measure the time it takes for the CD racer to travel a distance of two meters. Then divide the distance by the time to get the average speed. What else can you do? You can decorate the CD racer, but make sure your decorations don't get in the way of the pencil as the CD rotates. You can compare how the CD racer moves on different surfaces, such as a smooth table, vinyl or wood floor, carpet and tarmac. If you have access to metal or plastic washers, about M10 size, you can try them instead of the homemade plastic washer and see if this improves the performance. You can try lubricating the washer or covering it with graphite from the pencil. Graphite is also used as a lubricant and see if this makes any difference. Make sure the lubricated side is up against the CD. Now my son, who's a physics student, is going to tell you about the science behind the project. When you turn the pencil, you wind up and stretch the rubber band, storing energy. This stored energy is called elastic potential energy. As the CD racer accelerates across the floor, this energy is converted partly to kinetic or movement energy. As the rubber band unwinds and releases the stored energy, the pencil remains in the same orientation because it's prevented from turning by the floor. This means, in turn, that the eraser itself must turn. The eraser is deliberately chosen to be a high friction material so that it grips the CD unit, causing the unit to turn with it so the eraser progresses across the floor. We can describe the friction between the eraser and CD unit as good friction because it is desirable to make the CD eraser work. Sources of friction which act to slow the CD eraser down can be described as bad friction as they are undesirable and should be minimised. As the CD unit turns while the pencil remains in the same orientation, there is relative movement between them. A plastic washer is placed between them to help reduce this friction. Additional sources of friction include the pencil tip dragging across the floor and any rubbing of the rubber band against the inside of the cotton reel. 
You may want to think of other sources of friction and decide whether they are desirable or undesirable, such as when you apply your bicycle brace to slow down, when you graze your skin on the ground, when you open a parachute mid-air, or when your clothes chafe against you. Thank you for watching. This project is taken from my book Technology for Fun 1. For more ideas you can visit my Technology for Fun website.